Hello, Familia. Glory be to God. We are in Exodus chapter 19. In the third month, on the same day of the month that the Israelites had left the land of Egypt, they entered the wilderness of Sinai. After they departed from Rephidim, they entered the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. And Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Moshe went up to the mount, up the mountain to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain. This is what you must say to the house of Jacob, and explain to the Israelites. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I carried you on eagles' wings, and brought you to me. <clears throat> now if you will listen to me, and carefully keep my covenant, you will be my own possession out of all the peoples, although all the earth is mine. And you will be my kingdom of priests and my holy nation. These are the words that you are to say to the Israelites. After Moshe came back, he summoned the elders of the people and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. Then all the people responded together, We will do all that the Lord has spoken. So Moshe brought the people's words back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moshe, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the people will hear when I speak with you and you and will always believe you. Then Moshe reported the people's words to the Lord. And the Lord told Moshe, go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. They must wash their clothes and be prepared by the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Put boundaries for the people all around the mountain and say, be careful that you don't go up on the mountain or touch its base. Anyone who touches the mountain will be put to death. No hand may touch him. Instead, he will be shot or stoned or shot with arrows. No animal or man will live. When the ram's horn sounds a long blast, they may go up the mountain. Then Moshe came down from the mountain to the people and consecrated them, and they washed their clothes. He said to the people, Be prepared by the third day. Do not have sexual relations with women. On the third day, when morning came, there was thunder and lightning, a thick cloud on the mountain, and a loud trumpet sound, so that all the people in the camp shuddered. Then Moshe brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was completely enveloped in smoke because the Lord came down on it in fire. Its smoke went up like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain shook violently. As the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moshe spoke, and God answered him in the thunder. Then, or excuse me, the Lord came down on Mount Sinai at the top of the mountain. Then the Lord summoned Moshe to the top of the mountain, and he went up. The Lord directed Moshe, go down and warn the people not to break through to see the Lord. Otherwise, many of them will die. Even the priests who come near the Lord must purify themselves, or the Lord will break out in anger against them. But Moshe responded to the Lord, the people cannot come up Mount Sinai, since you warned us, put a boundary around the mountain and consider it holy. And the Lord replied to him, go down and come back with Aaron. But the priests and the people must not break through to come up to the Lord, or he, or he will break out in anger against them. So Moshe went down to the people and told them. Glory be to God for all the goodness of our God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may we all see it and recognize it more and more every single day. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, Familia.